It's already past Thursday, so we can talk about it. Dolphins Bills might have been the best game of the week. Uh, it ended up not being that. Um, best matchup, I mean, yeah, definitely not. Definitely not game of the week. Uh, after what happened, the Bills ended up completely dominating. Um, stuff. Uh, Tua had a terrible game. And then he gets another concussion. I don't think the night could have went worse for him. Um, other than that, Dolphins were okay, maybe. Um, they just got in a hole so quickly. Uh, too many turnovers. That's tough. That's tough. You just can't win. You can't win when you throw three picks. And then now they might be stuck with their backup QB for a bunch of weeks. I mean, who knows? Tua might not even play football again. Like, we, we don't even know. Like, this is another concussion. It's, I don't know. It's tough. I don't even want to talk about it. It's just, it sucks. Like, I mean, that many head injuries. It's just, I don't know. At some point, you just, you just give up. You just got to stop. Um, and he just got paid, too. It's just rough year for the Dolphins already, but, uh, you know, they're a cursed franchise, so it's, I guess it just comes with the territory, but, uh, yeah, good win for the Bills, though, um, Dolphins, I mean, at this point, you just don't even care, it's like, is Tua gonna be healthy, like, that's it, that's just all you, that's just all you think about at this point, but, moving on to Sunday, games that have not been played yet, 1 p.m., the Saints versus the Cowboys. This one is in Arlington. Home one for the Cowboys. I will say the Saints, you know, they really, they put up numbers. They put up numbers last week. It was against the Panthers, so Cowboys defense is pretty solid, so this will be a really good test for them. We'll see if their car is legit. <laughs> um, but... I expect a Cowboys victory. The line is minus six for them. Um, I expect them to be good uh, in this one. Look pretty good against the Browns. D. They have a solid defense. Wouldn't say the Saints defense is really up there, but it's so tough with the Saints. I mean, as good as they were, you know, 47 points uh, held the Panthers to like, what, 10? I don't even know. Um, but you just don't know because the Panthers are, are a really rough team. So no reason for them to, to jump the gun. But I, th I think they'll be all right. I think they're going to be decent against the Cowboys. They're just not going to get the win. So I think the Saints, you know, I did the season predictions. I ended up putting them with like four or something wins, like some low. They're probably going to be one of the mid teams. Um, that's probably definitely a lower rating for them. Um, I, I'd say they'd be like a, they could be a 500 team. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. So, but still got the Cowboys, but they'll be, they'll be just fine. They're going to be just fine. Bucks lions I feel like this is one of the few decent games. I mean, Saints-Cowboys could be good. There's a couple of games that could be good, but I, I'm worried because some of them could be blowouts. Like, in this case, the Buccaneers are a solid team, but the Lions, the Lions are pretty good and could find a way to blow them out. Uh, that's, that's what I'm worried about, even though the Bucks, I really like how they played week one. Lions... Had a close one with the Rams. I could see this one being close, and Lions just pull it out. You know, they could just... That's what the better teams do, and they just happen to be one of the better teams, as, as long as golf doesn't joke at all. But, hey, Baker Mayfield, when he gets hot, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's got good good receivers, too, and I, don't, I wouldn't even say they ran the ball that well. They just... Baker. Baker's chucking four TDs. <laughs> but the line is... Minus seven and a half. This is in Detroit. Um, you know the Lions. You know that uh, you gotta take them. You gotta take them. Um, that's the safe pick. <laughs> Colts versus the Packers. Uh, this one's in Green Bay. The line is minus two and a half for the Colts. Um, this would be a really good game if Jordan Love was playing in it. This would be a really good game. But it's, I guess it's going to be Malik Willis, which is, that's brutal. I mean, it's either him or Sean Clifford. And Sean Clifford, he's not, he's not really a, I wouldn't see, he's a, I wouldn't say he's a NFL QB. He's a, he's a third string practice squad guy. Um, but uh, it's, 
going to be one of those two unless they trade for somebody. Uh, but that's tough. It's going to be a home one. But, and the Colts look really good. The Colts, you know, they, they went up against the Texans. They had a really good game against the Texans. Richardson looks good. Um, Packers D should be all right. But I just, I don't see the Packers offense uh, being able to, they're just not going to get it done. Uh, they, they just, you know, you need a decent backup in this league. And I, I just don't think they have one. And they just traded from Malik, Malik Willis a few weeks ago. And I don't know. I, it's, it's, you're getting desperate if you're trying to trade for him. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, the good news is Jordan Love is not out for the year. So Packers fans, you might have to ride on that one for a few weeks. But, yeah, I got to go with the Colts. So up next, Titans, Jets. This one is in Tennessee. Jets have the line at minus three and a half, and I'd have to agree with that one. I'd say the Jets have the edge in this one. They didn't look amazing week one, but they were against the 49ers. Um, I see this being a solid week for them and the Titans. Titans, uh, Titans are rebuilding, uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what the Titans are doing, but I don't see them. I don't see them winning too much this year. Hey, Tony Pollard looks all right, but uh, Will Levis at QB. I, I, unfortunately, I think the Titans are going to get to the end of the year, and they're going to know that Will Levis is not quite the guy they want, but they should have a decent draft pick. Um, hopefully they don't uh, they don't draft any stat patterns at QB uh, too early. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I got, I got the Jets in that one. Get a nice bounce-back win after getting a little bit embarrassed. I think Rodgers, I, I, I don't think he's going to be elite at all this year, but I think he's going to be solid. Uh, I think he has top 10 capabilities still, so that should be enough with that Jets team. But I guess the O-line, not great. It's not great. So, here, yeah, here's the team they played last week. They got the Vikings this week. It's in Minneapolis. The line is minus five for the Niners. Gonna have to agree with that one. Niners gonna be heavily favored uh, for most of the year. They just have so much talent. But the Vikings, I really like what I saw from the Vikings. They were able to take down the Falcons, who looked a bit rusty. But Sam Darnold, you know, he's got he's got weapons. He's got weapons. So even if he's not the best thing ever, I'd say Sam Darnold is a solid backup QB. So. It's just, you know, obviously, you know, J.J., they drafted the rookie. Maybe he was going to start. Maybe he wasn't. Either way, I do see the Vikings as a team that is playing with, like, a solid backup. And if you have a pretty good team around them, you have a chance. Um, I do think the defense maybe isn't that great. But, uh, like I said, they got firepower on offense. They might be able to put up some points against the Niners who... I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if McCaffrey's coming back. Um, we'll have to figure that one out. But uh, Jordan Mason looks like a pretty solid replacement as well. So, yeah. Uh, but got to go Vikings. Uh, even though it's a home one for the Vikings. Or, sorry. Got to go Niners. I got to go with the Niners. Got to pick the Niners. Not picking the Vikings. That's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the important matchup of the day. Seahawks-Patriots. Um, I actually think this could be a pretty good one. Patriots-D should be solid. Um, Seahawks offense is all right. Patriots offense is all right. Seahawks defense is... I, I don't know. I guess, are they solid? I'm going to need some feedback on that one. I don't know how the Seahawks are doing, but I know they had a nice win to start off the year. And this game is in Foxborough. The line is... Minus three and a half for the Seahawks, and I gotta agree with that one. I, after week one, I I feel better about the, the Patriots this year for sure. Um, I still think they're gonna lose this one, but I think they're gonna be able to be competitive in a lot of games as long as Brissett, as long as he plays all right, which he did. Um, Stevenson was good too, and we just need like one or two receiving threats to kind of help out. Uh, it should be good, but the O line, the offensive line, not bad, not bad start. Um, but it was against the Bengals, and they just, they looked awful. They looked terrible. Uh, so I, I wouldn't judge the Bengals off of their one week there. I guess Joe Burrow always starts the year terribly. I don't know. 
uh, maybe we should have him on to the channel, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think the Patriots have a shot to win, but gotta go Seahawks. Hopefully I don't find myself doing this too much this year where I pick against the Patriots and then they win anyways. It's like, I gotta have a little faith at some point, right? Like, I gotta. <laughs> Up next, we do have the Giants versus the Commanders. Yes. It's in, it's in, man, it's, er, <laughs> sorry, it's in Maryland. Home one for the Commanders. This is a, a brutal matchup. Uh, this is awful. I think the Giants are, they're really bad. Um, but if they were to have a shot against somebody, I'd say the Commanders, you know, they would have a shot against them. I think they have it. Uh, but the line is minus one and a half. And once again, I got to agree. I got to go Commanders uh, with this pick. Um, the Giants just, Daniel Jones, I feel bad for the guy. He's just not, he's just not very good. He, he, that's the thing, he's he's technically a very good quarterback. He's just not an NFL quarterback. He's not a starter. Uh, maybe a backup, he'd be all right, but he's just, it's rough. Uh, but Giants, you guys are tanking. The Commanders, they have their QB, so they want, uh, they want to see what he can do. Um, I didn't catch too much of him week one, but I guess Jay Daniels was all right. I don't think he did. He didn't do too much, but... Let me see, let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah, he ran a lot. That was the thing. Yeah, pass, even passing was okay. Like 17 for 24, 184. Yeah, so he had the, the two 88 yards, the two rushing touchdowns. That's what it was. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I didn't think he did much. I mean, pa the passing, that's fine. If he's going to run like that and make plays that way, that's great. So, yeah, I think he's going to be solid again. And I got the commanders in that one. Oh boy, Panthers, Chargers. Um... It's all home one for the Panthers, but the Chargers have minus five. And I, I gotta agree, this Chargers team looks pretty solid under Harbaugh uh, after after one week. But and now they got the Panthers. The Panthers are so bad. I hate to even say it, but they're just bad. They just—it's amazing how how quickly something how how quickly it can go bad uh, for these teams with Panthers. I mean, they really haven't been good since the Cam Newton days. They've just been, they're just, they're just floaters. They've been floating around and, you know, they made the trade to get their franchise QB, but it's not enough. And just Chargers look solid. Herbert looks solid. Um, they look better. They look better under Harbaugh. That's for sure. Staley was so bad. So I'm sure Chargers fans are happy to have something new going on there for coaching. Um, this should be an interesting one. This is Browns, Jaguars. Um, it's in Jacksonville. Jaguars minus three. I'm really tempted to take them. I just don't. I don't feel good about their offense. And I think the Browns defense, I think they'll bounce back a little bit this week. Um, and then I, I don't think. I I don't know. Every time Watson has a bad game, like you think it, it couldn't get worse. You think like, all right, he has to play better next week, right? But then he doesn't. I, I think he'll be a little better in this one. But, oh man, I, I don't even know how that guy can play football. He's got a new case every week. I I, I would. I don't know how he could focus <laughs> uh, with uh, all of his legal problems. Um, but, you know, Browns fans, who knows uh, with this new thing. Maybe he won't even be there much longer. <laughs> we'll see. But I... I am going to go with the Browns in this one. I do think they get this one um, for whatever reason. I just don't think they play. I thought they played okay last week. They just, Watson, he's bad. He's really bad. He is not the same. Ravens, Raiders. Both 0-1, trying to bounce back after the losses. Um, it's, in, it's in Baltimore. Home one for the Ravens, minus nine. It's pretty clear why. Ravens had a chance to beat the Chiefs last week, and they're one of the best teams in the league. Raiders are... Raiders are... They're rebuilding. They're, they're rebuilding Gardner Minshew. You know, it's it's similar to the Vikings. They're kind of playing with a backup QB, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame. I mean, I guess Aiden O'Connell's just that bad, I guess. I don't know, but they'll be looking for a QB next year, that's for sure. 
Um, but yeah, Raiders are in a tough spot. Should be a light work win for the Ravens. We head into the 4 o'clock games, only three of them at this time. A lot of 1 o'clock games this week, but this should be good. Rams, Cardinals, um, pretty good matchup, I would say. Uh, it's in Arizona. Cardinals, minus one to get this one. So that's that's an interesting selection by the betters, and I'd have to agree. Uh with the Rams, Stafford looked all right. Um, Cooper Cup looked great, but they did lose Puka. And I don't know. I like the Cardinals. I thought they looked really good last week as, as well. Um, just ended up losing, but they should be they should be a decent team this year. Um, maybe not contenders. Maybe they missed the playoffs, but they're going to show flashes this year. Uh, I think they'll be. You know, they'll look like they have. A promising future, but that does, uh, you know, lean on Kyler Murray a little bit. He's got to be good. He's got to make plays. Um, and hopefully he will because we are selecting them to get that dub. The next four o'clock game. Broncos Steelers. Um, it's in Denver. Uh, Steelers minus two and a half line. I I guess it's Fields again. Um, let's see. Is it going to be Justin Fields? Uh, Russell Wilson is still questionable. Um, so I guess we can just assume it'll be Fields. I don't know. Um, I think either way, the Steelers should find a way to win. Um, TJ Watt, I think he's going to give the rookie some trouble. And I don't think the Broncos are going to be able to get enough done on offense. And I think the Steelers still just do what they did last week they'll do just enough and that'll, that'll be enough for a win they just do this every year but yeah i gotta take the steelers in this one uh broncos i do think they'll have some decent wins this year uh just the steelers won't be one of them they got a game wrecker in tj watt on the other side it's just it's not gonna happen he's gonna be all over the rookie unfortunately Bengals, Chiefs, it sounds like a good one, but after last week, the Bengals, they don't look great. They do not look great at all, um, but they're rusty, so hopefully for them, it can only go up from here. The Chiefs look pretty good against the Ravens. They're at home again this week. Got minus six uh, for the spread, and they had Rishi Rice look good. Um, uh, Xavier Worthy looked good. Pacheco was solid, and Defense, uh, defense held off the Ravens, so I'd say pretty good start to the year for the Chiefs. Um, I, I gotta say, they're gonna get this one. Uh, in the Bengals, it seems like every year, they're just starting off 0-2. Uh, Chiefs are 2-0. Sounds about right. <laughs> we head into Sunday night. Bears, Texans. It's a decent game. Uh, it's at home for the Texans. It's in Houston. Minus six and a half is the line, but I'd be more excited if the Bears offense looked a little better last week. Um, and then you got the Texans who they looked really good last week. Is Stephon Diggs. He didn't know if he would even be the true number one. And he was, he was good. He was really good. Nico Collins is good. They just they put up numbers against the Colts. It could be a tough night for the Bears. They got a solid defense, but man, it could be a rough one. They uh they found a way to win week one, but I did not see that happening this week. I got the Texans getting the dub there. Falcons. Decent Monday night matchup. I hope the Falcons play a little better than they did week one. Uh, Eagles looked really good. They had some guys put up absolute numbers. This is going to be a home one for them. Minus six and a half is the line. The Falcons, they got some skilled guys. Kirk Cousins, got it. he has to play better. He's got to play better. I think he knows it. Um, I think even if he does play better, I don't think it's going to be enough. 
I don't think it's going to be enough. I got to take the Eagles in this one. Um, we'll see. But yeah, Falcons, really rough start to the year, but it's so early in the year. There's so much time to, to figure things out. The problem is half the teams end up not figuring things out and the other half do. So you got to figure out which category you're going to end up in uh, for the rest of the season. But I do think they will finish this week 0-2 uh, and, and, you know, have a little bit of a hill to climb, but they'll be all right. They should be all right. And that is it. That is it for our week two picks, our week two selections and predictions. So go ahead in the comments. Give me your predictions. Uh, if you got a hot take, let me hear it. Let's see what you got. Um, if you don't have anything, it is now.